presented by EA Sports and the PGA Tour. The house that Mr. Palmer built, Bay Hill Club and Lodge, nestled in the heart of Orlando, Florida. This course plays host to one of the great tournaments on the PGA Tour schedule, the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navolo here today bringing you all the action from today's round at Bay Hill. Uh-oh, this one's going left, Frank. Frank, better than we thought it was going to be. Yeah, that looked like it was headed for that thick stuff the whole way, but uh, a little fortunate. But then I guess you're allowed that in this game. Good swing, good shot yet again. On the green, and a chance for birdie here on the first hole. One under early in the round. Back to the action here at the second and a par three. Frank, it's 231 yards. What are we looking at? Well, somehow, if you can hit it sky high, that's the best shot to hit in there. This green sometimes gets brick hard, and, of course, it all slopes to the left. Didn't hit it in there tight, but still with a good chance. Yeah, if that's his worst shot at the end of the day, then uh, I still think he's played well. Second shot. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. Locked in on the read and the speed. That is a solid bar putt right there. Now to the par four third, 434 yards and plenty of trouble on that left side. One of the hardest tee shots on the front side. Water very much in play down the left. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway over 300 yards. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I think so. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a full melody now. And this will be a five-foot putt here. How did that not go in?
Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Clean this up with a tap. Did the job right there. Rich Lerner with Frank Navalo back at the fourth hole here at Bay Hill. This is the first par five on the golf course. 561 yards. You thinking birdie here, Frank? No, you certainly are. Perhaps even three. This is almost ramrod straight. Little hazard down the right side. But a good one, you can certainly get home for two. And that's where you want to be at the fourth, in the fairway. And from the fairway for his second shot here. Third shot, looking for a good one. And it makes the green in regulation. Settles in over the putt. Collects another birdie with that stroke and goes to two under. Frank, at the fourth, we pulled the hammer out. Here, maybe it's a scalpel? Well, it just depends. A little trailing breeze. A drive is not always a bad play here. 367 yards to the front. There's a little kick forward. So, win behind your back, almost worth a go. And this is not heading in the right direction. You know, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. We moved that one out there, but he is not going to like the lie. Uh, that moved down in the rough. That'll be from about 90 yards away. Good looking shot right here. Coming out of the rough and right up next to the hole. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. Just when you think you're going to make birdie, now have to really concentrate on this and at least make par for par. Has it? And he's two under par. Frank, this is a big, brawny par five, and it can be menacing just looking at it from the tee with all of that water. It's also tempting, uh, reachable for the longer hitters, uh, unless your name's John Daly, who took a whopping 18. So, better than that, you're better than John Daly. I don't see what's wrong with 18. If you break it down, that's three pars and an eagle. That's pretty good. It is, but you're still playing the same hole. Nothing to argue about there, right in the fairway. Looking to keep it going here, Frank. Yeah, another example of uh, things just working as they should. <laughs> Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up sitting up. It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Wow, what a shot. Doesn't even need the putter. Frank, the good news as you come to the seventh after that beast of a par five is that it's just under 200 yards and there's no water. It's not as long as the second, but it's just as demanding. Very narrow entry into this green. And a 
generate some momentum here at the seventh hole. This for birdie. It's that sneaky distance. Can't make it, Frank, if you don't hit it. Hubert Green once said, 99% of putts left short don't go in. I don't know what happened to the other 1%. But... Showing no signs of weakness. That's a good putt right there. Stays at four under. Getting ready to tee off now at the eighth. And Frank, this hole has a little bit of everything. Yeah, even though it's a pretty hole, Rich, it, it's a fair way you must hit because that second shot here is one of the toughest on the golf course. Well, this one's sweet, Frank. Super. Got the uh, measurement out there, Rich. Looks like 290 yards. This, the second shot here at the par four. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on there. Easy birdie. And getting ready for the putt. That's a third birdie on the day. Final hole now of the front side. It's a 474-yard par four. And Frank, you've played it before. What works best here? Well, ideally a nice little draw off the tee. But the hole's quite weird because the, the tee shot shapes to the left and yet the green goes the other way. Whoop, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Long drive, but a bad lie. Uh, wicked. Ball sitting down here in the rough. He's digging in. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. <laughs> that had to really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his middle. Just a couple of feet. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but Frank, we know it's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Headed to the right, just a tap. Oh, just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. Good chance here. Currently at five under par. So makes the putt. And now at minus six. Another par four here. The 11th. It's just under 440 yards. This time there's water looming left. And then bunkers on the right hand side. It's a pretty good challenge, Frank. This hole is very similar to the third hole uh, on the front side. Two bunkers down the right side. Just got to keep, uh, keep it a little left. You don't have to hit driver here. They'll be happy with that in the fairway. Now a good chance to attack this hole. 
Frank, the second shot here at number 11, another good-looking shot, not unlike the third hole with water along the left. What's the right way to play this? Obviously, you'd like to walk off 11 with three, but uh, four here never really hurts the scorecard. Uh, this is one hole you sort of play with an orange light feeling. A little right of the flag, that's absolutely fine. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a full melody now. Man, I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. In for par. Seeing it up here on the 12th, 574-yard par 5, Frank. Another one that's reachable, obviously long and straight. That rough down the right side, though, is normally very thick. Uh, avoid the two bunkers. Lots of contours and undulations around this green. Frank, this one's offline. There's rough and thick stuff over there. No fairway here. This one in that rough. This requires a lot of speed through the ball. Now, this is not hitting in the right direction. Well, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Clip that one perfectly. It spins in there inside of five feet. Just a gorgeous shot. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. Frank, the par 4 13th, relatively short, but not necessarily easy. Yeah, stringent tee shot. Uh, a lot of people attempted to take a bigger club off the tee. 300 yards runs out of the fairway, but really, what does that give you in? Game's about rhythm. It, when you have good rhythm, it just looks effort effortless. To hit the ball 300 yards through the air, that easy. That is tasty looking right there, Frank. Just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a lie like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. Oh, nice strike, Rich. Not quite directly in line with the flag. Just drifting a bit to the right, but he'll settle. Superb shot. Well, it's, uh, it's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. Back in birdies, that's how you put a score on the board. So two straight and headed in the right direction. Frank, now to the 14th of par three, and how difficult is this hole? Once again, very narrow entry into the green. So ideally, you want to fly the ball a little higher than normal, make it soft, make it land a little softer. That is how it's done right there. What an approach shot. Frank, this would jumpstart the round. A third straight birdie. Some good playing. Wow, I thought that was in. Did the job right there. Now at the 15th, big dog leg right here. What's the best way to go, Frank? Really down the left side. Uh, it's very tempting to try and hit it across that bunker, but not only do you have to carry the bunker, you've also got to carry those little shrubs down the right side. Well, that's got to be 300 yards, isn't it? Now the approach shot, par 4, 15th hole. Frank, break it down. Green narrows up uh, the further back you go, so the most generous place to land the ball is in the front half of this green. It's also the flattest section of the green. <laughs> Terrific golf shot. And now, that for an easy birdie. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. 
You may have lost track at home, but we're keeping count. That is nine under for the day. The Bay Hill Club and Lodge features a really exciting finishing stretch. 16 is a reachable par 5. You'll see eagles and birdies there coming home. 17, a very difficult par 3 over the water. The bunker is there. Takes an excellent shot. And that 18 is all you want. We know that with the water in front. That second shot, which comes over the lake. And that's a hold-your-breath moment. It is a great finishing three-hole stretch at Bay Hill. This could be a huge momentum swing here, Frank. Yeah, one more good swing, and he's going to have an eagle putt coming up. I know you don't want to get ahead of yourself, but that is well on the cards. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. And a chance for eagle after that perfectly played shot. It's that sneaky distance. He's done it. That's an eagle right there. Tremendous effort. Always like this par 3, Frank. Par 3, 17th. Let me amend that. I like watching the best in the world play it because it can be daunting, especially with the pressure ratcheted up. When they have the tournament on, this green is brick hard. Um, a little bit downhill, that's about the only advantage you get. Great effort right there, and a great chance to knock in that short putt. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Just an unbelievable round thus far. 12 under on the deck. Frank, the scene of so much drama through the years. The 18th here at Bay Hill. What's the key? The fairway is rather generous, but once again, it pinches in around 320, 330 yards. You've got to be cognizant of that. And, of course, that green shapes to the right. So good tee shot makes that second shot a little bit easier. Be a little disappointed with that because it lands in the rough and it appears to be fairly thick over there. 180 yards to the flag stick. Arnold Palmer's legacy to golf is in so many different areas. We see it just in the way people react to the game. But really, when we go to Bay Hill, it's the one golf course that you'll see as you've been out there. His clubs are always on the, on the back of the car. He's ready to go to the range. It's, it's almost in every little blade of grass out there because Arnold plays it whenever he can. The king, whatever you want to call him, Mr. Palmer. Um, he lives and breathes at Bay Hill. And when the tournament comes around every March, it's a great reminder to not just Mr. Palmer, but also the golf course and all those little obstacles that he put in your way, water normally, and, and all the great events. And it's fun. It's a golf course, too, that anybody can play. You know, when I think of Arnold Palmer, I think uh, the young professionals could learn just a few things uh, for, from one of the all-time greats. First of all, reach out to the galleries, sign autographs. Look make, him in the eye, make, too. make eye contact, as he always did. Number two, own your golf swing. Whatever it is, believe in it. may be a little different. It may not be by the book, but own it and be comfortable with it. And then I think number three, go for it. That's what Arnie always did. Go for it at the risk of failure, because you'll never be great if you just lay back all the time. Arnie always went for it. One little lesson, too. You reminded me there. The one common denominator with just about every great player is a good grip. Arnold Palmer learned that for his dad. So if you pick up a golf club for the first time or playing it for the hundredth time, remember, a good grip will take you a long way. On. Nicely played shot, about 310 yards down the fairway. Now the approach here at number one, Frank, what's he looking at? A nice high, soft landing uh, second shot would be ideal here. There's a little bit of a ridge in this green. Don't really want to be going long here. Those two bunkers, uh, never easy coming out of those and downhill. can't hide the flag stick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable, that. That never deviated offline. Wow, I thought he made that. 
came to the putt excited to make birdie, now settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. You've let one go. You've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important this one goes in. Back to the action here at the second. It's a par three demanding hole, Frank, isn't it? Longest par three on the golf course. Slightly downhill, but you need every advantage here. It requires your best. So on the putting surface and taking a good look now at this birdie putt here at the second. Settles in over the putt. Oh, give me a break, Rich. Your mum could make that. Ooh, that's a disappointment, Frank. That's a par. And that keeps the scorecard clean, still even for the round. Now to the par 4-3rd, 4 434 yards and plenty of trouble on that left side. One of the hardest tee shots on the front side. Water very much in play down the left. Officials uh, calling that one around 310 yards. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. The bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Uh, this looks like it's going to find the target. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a formality now. Just five feet left. Makes the putt and goes to one under. Rich Lerner with Frank Navalo back at the fourth hole here at Bay Hill. This is the first par five on the golf course. 561 yards. You thinking birdie here, Frank? No, you certainly are. Perhaps even three. This is almost ramrod straight. Little hazard down the right side. But a good one, you can certainly get home for two. Well, this looks good. Certainly is. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Frank, tricky little third shot here at the par 5 fourth. Especially if you don't have a full number, uh, because there's just that little mound in the middle of the green. If you get on the wrong side of that, instantly you can be 30, 40 feet away. So check where the flag is. Is it front? Is it back? And then try and land it in that section. Well, that's how you play the game. Right there. Makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under for the round. You'll love him. The birdies. And that's another one. Frank, what's the play here off the tee? Is it driver, or do you play it safe with an iron? A, a lot of the times, that's predicated by the wind, Rich. If you've got a trailing breeze, driver is very much in play. Otherwise, just poke a little iron down the right side. That one is bunker-bound, it looks like. Not quite what he wanted. Tee shot is in the bunker. All right, Frank, second shot. Yeah, it looks like a good like. Um, just take maybe half a club more than the distance uh, distance allows. Still got to check the wind. Don't have to fly the ball all the way to the flag from here. Great shot coming out of that bunker right there. Showing some skills today. Frank, two is nice, but three is even better. Starting to feel it now. Two straight birdies and three under for the round. Frank, the sixth hole here at Bay Hill. This is not the hole you want to be playing if you have a case of the snap hooks, is it? No, the snap hooks, you'll never leave the tee. Dozen balls, you'll still be gone. Oh, 
this is hitting in the wrong direction. Uh-oh. Unfortunately, that ball is wet. So this will be the third shot after taking the drop with the ball going in the water. Frank, this is one you don't practice, but sometimes you have to do it. Time for the drop. Yeah, it should be the easiest shot in golf. You've just paid for it. Uh-oh, this one's going left, Frank. You have to think he'll be happy with that, given that it looked like it was headed right for the rough. Yeah, it looked like that was the only place it was going to finish. But, um, well, it's a little bit unexplainable. Let's see what he does from here now. Lucky break. That one ends up in the rough. That went sideways. This is 130 yards out. Frank, mistake-free golf. You hope you can keep it together. Possibility of a very special round here. Yeah, the only, uh, the only real thing to worry about is, is not to get too far ahead of yourself. At the moment, swing looks tremendous. And just keep the round ticking over one hole at a time. I know it sounds like a cliche, but right now, he's exactly where he wants to be. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Good roll. Good pot. Now at the par 3-7, Frank is just under 200 yards. It's still quite daunting. A very narrow entry on that left side. So you've got to hit the ball flush off the tee. Really guarantee a carry of that over that right bunker. So it's still a, a daunting tee shot. Headed for the bunker, I think. Rub the shamrock. Got away with getting in the bunker there. Frank, you like his chances to walk away with a par here? Well, with a good shot, Rich, yeah, that's certainly on the cards in that. And um, and you think, you just ride a par down at the end of the end of the hole, don't tell anyone about it. It certainly won't affect the scorecard at the end of the day. So that's the goal right here. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. Clean this up with a tap. Did the job right there. Let's move on to the eighth, and Frank, what's ahead here? Big par four, just over 450 yards. Um, ideally, you want to get it down by that bunker where it's nice and flat, because that second shot, you, you know what's coming up. Now, this is not heading in the right direction. No, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Well, he pays the price for that. Yeah, when you don't see the top of the ball in the rough, you know it's not sitting pretty. Gonna need a bit of force to extract one out of there. Yeah. Frank, not close, but from that line, not bad. Oh, that's excellent. Seriously, given the conditions, Rich. Really? This is that awkward length. That was a good-looking putt, just not falling right now. Well, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. For par. Has his par. It's a consistent theme here at Bay Hill, if you can carry it 300 yards. Bay Hill always favors the longer hitter. This could be really good, Frank. Oh, straight at it. I mean, he just blasted it down the fairway, well over 325 yards. All right, partner, break down this approach shot here at the par 4 ninth. What you're looking at is one of the biggest greens on the, on the golf course, Rich, so it gives you a chance to be perhaps a little more aggressive than what you would normally think on a par 4 that's uh, just a little under 500 yards. Can't hide the flag stick from that man. And with that putt, he moves to three under. Excellent front side, trying to keep it going here on the second nine. 
he's just playing beautifully, hitting so many good shots, giving himself so many opportunities. Can he keep it going? Fine. Oh, that's it. New member of the 300-yard club. Good poke right there. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. He's safely on deck. What a great shot. Right next to the hole. It's about five feet. This one just requires a little bit of focus. That puts them at four under for the round. Frank, 440 yard par for 11th. You see that number on the card, you think driver. Maybe not. Why? Yeah, it's imperative you hit the fairway here, Rich. Uh, water obviously in play left. Two bunkers on the right. This is a second shot hole. Excellent drive, Frank, right where you want to be. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Fraction off the center and headed to the right. Terrific golf shot. And now that for an easy birdie. Frank, this would jumpstart the round. A third straight birdie. Some good playing. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. He has this attempt for par. Four under on the deck. Seeing it up here on the 12th, 574-yard par 5, Frank. Another one that's reachable, obviously long and straight. That rough down the right side, though, is normally very thick. Uh, avoid the two bunkers, lots of contours and undulations around the screen. Whoop, this has taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Well, not this time. That one's in the rough. Might be a tough shot coming up. Second shot coming out of the rough here. So from the rough back to the fairway, that's the right way to go. Yeah, didn't take the bite, and at least now. He's only going to play the price of a poor tee shot. Still got a good chance, though, getting away with par. Down, little Sheba. Down! Playing a par five. Frank, what happened on that third shot? Yeah, it's a poor decision. But, um, well, hopefully he can eradicate that from the, the memory banks and um, really knuckle down on this. Do not want to drop a shot or make six here. How about that bunker shot, Frank? That's up there with the greats. The sound, too, is wonderful. Good use of the bounce, and uh, it looked like they were trying to hold it. 
Showing no signs of weakness. That's a good putt right there. Stays at four under. Frank, the par four 13th, relatively short, but not necessarily easy. Yeah, stringent tee shot. Uh, a lot of people attempted to take a bigger club off the tee. 300 yards runs out of the fairway, but really, what does that give you in? Frank, this one's headed way right. And rough trees, all sorts of problems on that right side. Oh, that's off the beaten track. That's you've got five minutes to find it. Remember, out of the rough. Expect the ball to jump forward a little bit. Good swing, good shot yet again. Clip that one perfectly. And it spins in there inside of five feet. Just a gorgeous shot. And getting ready for the putt. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. Frank, as we come to the 14th of par three, what's ahead for the players? Once again, another tough par three coming up. A narrow at the front. It gets a little wider the further you go up this green. <laughs> Making it look easy at this point. Another beautiful approach shot. Shouldn't be a problem here. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. We're here at the 15th now, and a big dog leg right on this one. Frank, what's the best route to take to shoot the low number? You've got to look at that run out down the left side, which is about 320 yards. Um, if you can stay short of that, then that gives you a perfect shot into this green. That one is bunker bound, it looks like. Frank, he is one of the longest hitters in the game, but at some point, you have to hit a fairway. Yeah, he's uh, certainly not the straightest. I think that was the bit you're going to put in the middle. Oh! Well, he's taking the right side out of play, Rich. It looks a little left. Coming out of the rough, not able to control it the way he wants. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Very disappointing. Very short of the hole. Eight-foot putt here. Well, you can see it there. Feels very good about what he's doing. That's a nice par putt. Stays at six under. Back on the tee here at the 16th. It's a par five. Bunkers, water all along this hole. Doesn't look to be a gimme par five. Now, you've got to have your wits about you. If you just look at the yardage, you'll think it's the easiest par five on the golf course. And then, before you know it, it's got you. A bit unfortunate in the bunker, Frank. Well, it'll be interesting to see what his bunker plays like. Frank, what are the problems posed with a fairway bunker shot? He's got to hit it nearly perfect, Rich, because the, the bunker's going to magnify any mistake he makes. This is where you really have to focus on great contact. Out of the sand and back on the fairway. Yeah, good shot. Just uh, really utilized that little bit between the ears. Realized he couldn't reach the green and instead opted for fairway. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. Oh, I can't hide the flag stick from that man. Been a pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. How about seven under par now? Frank, this is a great hole through the years to watch when the pressure is ratcheted up deep into a round. That is all you want at more than 220 yards. Play slightly shorter because it's downhill. The bunker's on the left in play. The, even the bunker short right and, of course, the water, if you just miss it a bit, that's in play. And the green shapes away from you. This has to be the most difficult par three on the golf course. So a chance for birdie. 
after another solid approach shot. It's no snack, though. Just when you think you're going to make birdie, now have to really concentrate on this and at least make par. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. That's how you maintain momentum. You make those putts for par. Finishing hole at Bay Hill, Frank, how good is this 18? Well, it's good because it makes you scratch your head. If you look at your score, your own personal score, and then fast forward, you've made a big mistake. A little shaky behind the wheel today, Frank. A little shaky? <laughs> Maybe put both hands on it. Rich, do you think we should tell him this fairway out there? Yeah, he's been in the rough all day long. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Coming out of the rough and right up next to the hole. This from seven feet. It's amazing. It doesn't matter how close it goes. It's an extra shot. That one will definitely hurt. Has this one for par. Good round going minus seven. Frank, I have to say, I've been impressed by the level of golf today. Really came out here with a solid game plan and executed. And consequently, a very solid round. Continuing with that kind of play can certainly put you in the winner's seat. EA Sports is proud to present today's PGA Tour coverage. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo for EA Sports and Golf Channel on NBC. Pleased, as always, to be at the house that the King built, Arnold Palmer, Bay Hill Club and Lodge in Orlando, Florida. The golf course that's produced many a great champion. Tiger Woods has won it a whopping eight times. Ernie Els has won it twice. This is a place that tests the best in the game. Now, this is not heading in the right direction. You know, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Well, he pays a price for that. Yeah, when you don't see the top of the ball in the rough, you know it's not sitting pretty. Gonna need a bit of force to extract one out of there. There's a bunker over there. I think he's headed for it. <laughs> he just missed the bunker. Settles in over the putt. Good putt, and now one under par. Back to the action here at the second. It's a par three, demanding hole, Frank, isn't it? Longest par three on the golf course. Slightly downhill, but you need every advantage here. It requires your best. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. So on the putting surface, and taking a good look now at this birdie putt here at the second. Back-to-back -back birdies, we'll see. Well, you're not going to make that putt all the time, but you'd like to at least get it to the hole. If he keeps putting like that, he's going to be an announcer in no time. Did the job right there. Frank, now to the third hole here at Bay Hill. If you have a case of the snap hooks, <laughs> you're in some serious trouble here. You're going to run out of golf balls here as well. But uh, a good tee shot's going to leave you something like 150, 160 yards into a very narrow green. Frank, did you hear the sound of that coming off the club face? It was like a cannon. Oh, that's it. New member of the 300-yard club. Good poke right there. Excellent lie. 155 yards away.
How'd you like that strike? Uh, that was top of the tree. These putts keep the round together. So, two under early on. 561 yard, par five fourth. Frank a chance to make four and maybe even an eagle three. Yeah, that green's just raised a little bit. So, if you had a good drive in there and you're going with a slightly shorter club, big advantage. Good contact, good result. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Well, he'll have to get up and down from the bunker to save his par. Frank, there's nothing like catching a bunker shot just perfectly, splashes out, lands softly, and just runs up to that hole. Yeah, it's like 3D. There's the component in the strike where it's going to land, and then the third part of it is how much would it roll. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on there. Easy birdie. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Frank, this is the kind of start every player wants. Yeah, swinging it well, certainly hitting the ball in the right place there, and uh, that's a good thing too, he's actually putting well. Headed for the bunker? Well, we'd like to have that one back, in the bunker. Still a chance to get it up and down. Well, at least he can draw on the experience from the previous hole. Again, in the bunker. Anything you do differently with your setup? Uh, but just dig my feet into the sand a little bit more, but make sure you focus on the exact spot on the ball you want to hit. You know, this looks like it's going to find the target. Oh, just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. Well, this would be nice, Frank. I mean, you talk about jump-starting around. If he were to make another birdie, it would really have gone in the right direction. And you can sort of feel it, too. People around me know. I've seen birdies to this point. Great strike and a great result. Sitting up, good chance to attack the flag. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. Just a gutsy shot right there, and a good look at Eagle coming up, 19 feet away. That looked like it nearly got below the lip, you know, the level of the lip there. Can't believe that one, Frank. That was a complete horseshoe right there. Frank, this is a nice run right here. Oh yeah, and this is very makeable too. Excellent chance for four in a row. Frank, the good news as you come to the seventh after that beast of a par five is that it's just under 200 yards and there's no water. Yeah, it's not as long as the second, but it's just as demanding. Very narrow entry into this green. Excellent shot to within 10 feet. Rich, I'm starting to lose count. This is just birdie after birdie. It's all time stuff. I mean, this is territory we just don't visit very often. Oh, I thought he had that. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Clean this up with a tap. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Rich, I remember playing with, um, it was Ben Crenshaw and Mark McCumber in a World Cup of Golf at Royal Melbourne. And Royal Melbourne's greens are as fast as any in the world. 
and it was probably one of the best putting exhibitions I ever saw without Ben actually making every putt. His sense of speed. Um, and I think that's, that's where I started to see that putting was a real art. He would look at a putt like it had seven or eight different dimensions to it. But it was all feel. It wasn't mechanical. It wasn't like this sort of amazing thought process. It, w- it, was, it was sort of uh, through osmosis he would just feel a green. So it would go up and down several humps and hollows and that, and invariably just, if it missed, it just settled on the back of the cup. And these were the fastest greens in the world. Incredible display. His longtime caddy at Augusta National, Carl Jackson, and they came together in the mid-1970s. Carl recalls the first time he saw Ben, and, and what stood out was, as Carl tells it, the putting stroke. And in Carl's words, it flowed like the wind. That's birdie, and that's just another example of how everything seems to be clicking today, especially on the greens. Yeah, good green reading, too. You've got to take your hat off to that. The line has been perfect, and the pace has matched it. Not missing by much today, but enough to again be in the bunker. Digs in, ready for the bunker shot. Yeah, second shot here. Just trying to aim a little bit behind that ball, an inch or two. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie and getting ready for the putt. Well, normally you'd be happy to take two from there. What's one going to feel like? Great putt. Back here in Orlando, Florida at the Bay Hill Club and Lodge. Frank, we're getting set for the back nine. How do you get off to a good start? Well, it's one of the shorter par fours here, Rich. Dog leg right. Uh, good drive. Just a, a, a short on here. There's something about a well-hit shot. Oh, this looks good. Certainly is. Really good playoff to see at least 300 yards and in the fairway. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Moving a little left of the flag stick, Frank. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. Nice approach shot. He'll be happy with that. Nothing wrong with that par putt. Frank, 440-yard par for 11th, you see that number on the card, you think, driver. Maybe not. Why? Yeah, it's imperative you hit the fairway here, Rich. Uh, water obviously in play left, two bunkers on the right. This is a second shot hole. That one is bunker bound, it looks like. We moved that one out there, but he is not going to like the lie. Uh, that moved down in the rough. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Headed for the bunker, I think. Just a bit offline and into the bunker. Lays the face open. He'll try to pop this one out. That was not an easy bunker shot. He made it look so easy. Really good composure. That bunker was not going to mess up his plans here. Good round going, minus seven. Frank, now we're at the 574 yard, par five, 12. How critical are the par fives if you're trying to put a score on the board here at Bay Hill? The crucial, Rich, because the, the par fours are very, very difficult. So anytime you get a par five, really got to take advantage of it.
That one ends up in the rough. That went sideways. Ball sitting down here in the rough. He's digging in. So from the rough back to the fairway, that's the right way to go. Yeah, didn't take the bait. And at least now he's only going to play the price of a poor tee shot. Still got a good chance, though, getting away with par. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. I mean, really, on top of his game right now. That was a splendid approach shot. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. That was a good-looking putt, just not falling right now. You know, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. Locked in on the read and the speed. He's made it. At the par 4, 13th now. Frank, what's the key here? Really avoid those three bunkers, Rich. You don't want a fairway bunker shot over water for your second shot. Frank, he's managed to hit it in the rough yet again. Yeah, this is, uh, this is hard to imagine. You know, the fairways aren't that narrow today. Frank, how good was that just to get it on the green? Well, from that shot there, you would have thought for sure that there was no chance he had of finding the green. That was some shot. Just singes the edge, Frank. Yeah, but at least he's burning the edges. You know you're hitting good parts. Just a little tap in here. Did the job right there. Frank, one of the things I like about Bay Hill is it requires you to hit clean, strong golf shots. And here's another case at the par 3 14th. It's more than 200 yards. Another one, really, you've just got to play it through the air. You can't play this like an open championship run-up par 3. Must fly it onto the green. Pretty good shot right there. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Workman like hole, he walks away with a par. Frank, the 15th, kind of a fun golf hole if you can curb your ball. I mean, that's a huge dog leg to the right, isn't it? Yeah, it's much easier if you're a right hander if you cut it down here. If you don't cut it, then make sure you don't run out down that left side. That appeared to be a good strike right there, Frank. Oh, good. It's just towering. Look at that hanging in the sky. There's always the advantage of hitting it further than most, Rich, and straighter than most. When you put the two together, it's just straight up a head start.
sit down. Get down. Oh, this is this is gum. Just averted danger right there. So close. What is he able to lock? So a tester from four feet. Moves to minus eight. We've seen guys through the years blow the tournament right on this hole. Yeah, if you get a little too greedy here, you try and make eagle. Uh, <laughs> it's sometimes with a good tee shot, it's an easy four. But a three brings seven into play. Good contact, good result. Officials are calling that one around 310 yards. Well, with a good shot here, Rich. I tell you, this eagle on the cards, hole very reachable from where he is. Don't get many opportunities like this. This is a good place to take advantage. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. That is classy. A lot of chunks are going in. Ten under four on the deck. Frank, par 317 here at Bay Hill. How difficult is this hole? This one takes your best tee shot, Rich. Otherwise, you're just looking at four or five. In the thick stuff. Thick? That's brutal out there. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. How about that shot? From that lie to get it that close? Tremendous effort. These putts keep the round together. Oh, I thought he had that. That's just a poor putt right there. No other way to say it. And a drop shot, a bogey at 17. This to avoid a huge number. This is for bogey. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. 2008, Frank, Tiger made that 25-foot putt right here at the 18th. Final round to beat Bart Bryant by a shot. Then again, for a second straight year, he birdied this hole to defeat Sean O'Hare. Yeah, he's had a similar putt there uh, at least three or four times, actually, to win the event. And he's been one of the few players to read it correctly. He has just hammered this drive here at the 18th, and now he is in a really good position to make a birdie here in the final hole. This won't hurt him, Frank. No, just a little left of the flag. That's fine. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. That was not a very good read right there. So just a formality here. He'll take par and move on. Frank, solid effort today. What's your assessment? Um, golf like that can certainly uh, result.